Big Feast of Winterfell. Thank you all. Power shield as expected. Alright. Here we go. Redemption. Okay. Well, that changed our play a little bit. Play the uh, Silent Knight instead. Now, if we holy Novas, that's gonna be actually not bad for us. Oh, get wrecked. Welcome back! Champion. Still really angry at you, my friend. Still really angry at you. Oh, baby. Okay. Deck hand, not that good right now. I could sacrifice this 2 1, or I could do this. The thing is, like, I know he doesn't have Holy Nova, right? Because he would have played Holy Nova for sure last turn. Silence. So I'm just gonna go a little bit more greedy again. Go a little bit more greedy. It, it actually um, helps that I do this, because, like, I have Cult Master, I have uh, Monkey, right? I have a lot of. I've compared spirit. Lots of things help with a very wide board. Just gotta be wide. Open wide. Magma Pager is actually really good, huh? Really, really good. The D is fine. I don't really care about that. See? He does not have Holy Nova. We're gonna go even wider now. We can just slam down everything. But we want to abuse the hero power as much as possible. So we want to put as much uh, on the board as possible as well. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Silence. So like, it's interesting because new players would never want to do this, right? Because like, when people are trying to learn a the game, they go like, Why would you ever do this against a priest? Because they have a Holy Nova. Like, that is just the worst play ever, right? But, like, if you're more advanced, and, like, you've played a game for a while, you understand- You come to understand that this is actually, like, the smartest play. Like, this is actually super clever. Pay attention, class. Now, Amani is trading for a Violet Teacher. I mean, come on. That is insane. No, that's not gonna work. I'm ready to learn. You have been. You see? You see? It's a good lesson to know as well. Good lesson to know. Hey, eight wins! <laughs> oh man. 